Hello Professor, so our project is on Hospital Database Management System and we are Group 15 from your class and we will be showcasing how hospital data can be used for clinical analytics and how this can reduce costs and operations of hospital and can save a lot of money and help developing countries in acquiring more resources and help patients for better service. So uh, our problem definition is like uh, we focus on hospitals which are from the develop con uh, which are from the developing countries and which are facing uh, lack of funds and which don't have automatic advanced dashboards and optimizing the data and providing real uh, time analysis of the patient record. Uh, this uh, project can help these hospitals to provide real time record at a very low cost and can help in serving patients better. This can also help. In in maintaining a digital record and uh, one of the big problem while we are analyzing our project was that there is high amount of time that patients need to wait to get treatment so if there is a digital database record of an hospital then that can also be integrated to patients appointment and then we can link it for better treatment and better services and effective appointments uh, uh, th and this can also be helped in staff coordination and hospitals so there are many times when uh, uh coordinations and staff is not proper and uh, if we have a database and if by just running a query we can find that what are the staff members associated and what are the duties and what are they currently doing then this can accurately help to uh, make proper decisions so uh, this is slide talks about how this project can impact hospitals so by creating digital platforms uh, we are focusing on improving the process of hospitals and this digital system uh, can help in better communication better diagnosis good coordination between staff members and customer experience this system is always sustainable and can reduce carbon reduction as well so the future vision is also to integrate all the medicines that patients are taking by analyzing the data and then creating an artificial intelligence system which can give direct results to patients regarding their diseases and tell them what kind of medicines they do they should take this also reduces emergency base patient wasted time and create better service experience so this is of a er model uh, so basically you can see that we have taken an account of few attributes obviously we can't talk about the whole hospital in the project so we have tried to focus on the main things which we thought are important for a start uh, in building this project so we are focused on patient room employees doctor reception medical record treatment medicine so we have taken uh, various things about it like medicine name quantity price code then patient id name address admit date discharge date in the data data set so after this we created an uml diagram which is a good representation of all the things that we have in our project so this is our uml diagram so you can see uh, uh, the same things uh, listed so we are talking about patient room medical record employee so after all this it's very important to link all this in the sql and for this we need a relational model so here you can see that we have created a, a model with all the attributes and we have identified that primary keys and the foreign keys so your primary keys are underlined and the foreign keys are in italics so you can see the way Various attributes are employee, doctor, permanent doctor, visiting doctor, intern doctor, nurse, accountant, receptionist, contact IDs, then room, the medical records, payment methods, insurance. So you can see here that these are the primary keys uh, which are underlined and the italics are the foreign keys. So we have created a relational model and now we are all set for working in MySQL workbench while running queries and creating data and then getting desired results. So we will start our implementation of a relational model by MySQL and NoSQL workbench. So first of all, we'll focus on MySQL Workbench. So I will talk about the process. So first of all, we created a database in MySQL Workbench. Then we developed few queries which we run in MySQL Workbench to get our desired results. So from that results, uh, we uh, we can use that 
in Python or even in any visualization tool and analyze data and then formulate strategies. This can really help hospitals to come up with innovative solutions which are cost effective. So now I will show how our database and queries are created in MySQL and what are the corresponding outputs and applications of all uh, this. So now I will show how we created data in MySQL Workbench and how we ran few queries to analyze this data. So first I will show what are the data we have taken in account while creating our hospital database management system project. So when I run this query, uh, you can see all the uh, employees details like employee ID, employee name, employee address, contact, gender, salary, uh, history and job profile. I will show you another record of data which we have with us is medical record so when i click this and run this you can see all the medical record like record id appointment date diagnosis bill reception id and patient id so these are the tables that we have taken in account while making our system and we have used all this data and ran few queries about it so now i will show you few queries so first i will copy this uh, and run this in my school workbench so i will just copy this and show you uh, so when i copy and paste it here you can see that these are the diseases and these are the months so we have run a query uh, to find the disease name which uh, which was taken appointment by the patient between november and december month so this is the list so now i will show you the second query so the second query is about patient doctor and nurse so this query talks about what is the patient name what is the doctor name and what is the nurse name and how the and who are related so this is a patient called alfred his doctor is elinator and her nurse his nurse is alexander so you can see the list of all the patient doctor and nurse associated with it so now i will show you my third query so this is a query which will talk about patient doctor and the bill amount so this is very important query for reception id or even for analyzing like for how much money is get is going to the hospital so this is like uh this is like the output of the query so you can see here the patient name the doctor and the payment amount so now i will copy my fourth query so my fourth query talks about the nurse and the room number so this is very important for staff coordination like if you just press a button uh, and run this you can find like which nurses are associated with which rooms so i'll just copy paste this query here and when i run this you can see like taylor is associated with room number one alina room number two and obviously uh, there are they will repeat because they won't there's there's no provision of one nurse for one room now i'm running my fifth query and fifth query talks in detail about various things so i will just show you of what it all talks about so when i run this query you can see uh, various tables like patient nurse doctor room number and appointment date so this basically talks about all the people who were appoint who took an appointment day after this date so this is all from mysql workbench so now i will show you how we created a data in nosql workbench there are various advantages of nosql workbench or mysql workbench uh, and one of them is that we can also take in account the unstructured data frame uh, and in practical world there are various data which are not structured very well so now we will use uh, nosql database to showcase uh, a few queries and uh, i uh, use cipher for this so now i will show you that first of all i will talk you about the process in nosql workflow so first of all we created a database on digital playground and cipher platform then we develop few queries and then uh, these results can help hospitals to get desired data analysis and use this information to formulate strategies so now so now i will show you how we created all this in uh platform cipher platform so this is the data that we have taken in account and once i run all this data we should get a null value set so i'm just waiting for it
so you can see here uh, as accepted as expected uh, this data shouldn't have any value so now we will run few queries uh, so the first query which I will be copying is to find the total number of patients with coronavirus so this query when run in cipher will show which patients have disease called coronavirus so when I run this query you can see here that it's just loading it's very slow <laughs> Yeah, so you can see all the names of the patients. So uh, these are the patients which have coronavirus and uh, I have used this query to retrieve this data. So now I will show you my second query. So my second query focuses on the patients who are suffering from coronavirus which are less than 30 years of age. So when I copy this and run this here, so this query should show all the patients whose age are below 30 and they are suffering from a disease called coronavirus so uh, i've taken an account of corona but it's the same thing so i'm just waiting for the result and yeah so this is the age of the patient and these are the names of the patient so you can see here uh, age wise and i have done it in descending order so this is the output of my second query so now I will show you oh, one more query mm. and this query talks about all the doctors and the patients associated with each other so this is kind of a relationship between doctor and patients so I will copy paste my query and I will show you the results of it So you can see here uh, the doctor's name and the patient name. So you can see here uh, these are all the doctors and these are all the patients. So this is the output of this query. So this is how we use NoSQL. I will show you how we created a graph database also in NoSQL. So uh, for that we just use this code and when we copy paste this code in NoSQL environment you will find the output of a graph this is a neo 4g cypher playground so this is also called as graph database and you can see here uh, the graph of it so you can see here uh, all the doctors and the patients names so i'll just zoom it and you can see uh, the patient and uh, how they are associated with the doctor so this is all from Neo for uh, MySQL environment and mm, these are the three queries that we run. We will focus on importing the MySQL data to Python and then we will run few queries for running, checking it and then visualizing it. So this is the code uh, for importing all the data libraries from MySQL environment to Python. So as soon as I, I run it here, it's it's perfectly fine and now i will check whether the connection has been established or not so as soon as i run it here you can see your uh, mysql connector connection so our connection has been established now i am selecting a query from SQL about an employee table and then i am using Panda data frame for getting the data and plotting it here so i'm just clicking all this and then I'm running this I'm just getting this table so this DF head is for the count so it usually counts up to four so now I'm using this code for the plot so you can see here it's just loading here now it's loaded so here this is the plot graph so you can see here the salary and this is the employee ID and this is in doctor nurse account and receptionist so you can see here uh, that uh, by differentiating with color we have indicate what are the salaries of different different people working at the hospital in the same table we can uh, use different 
code in Python to get different kind of visualizations. So when I run this code, you can see that we have divided the graph in gender male and gender female. So from this, we can also find that how many employees working in the hospital are male or female. Now I am running a query to get another table from SQL, which is from my from rooms so when i room uh, when i run this query from sql we can get this data in python so this is about all the room ids then what are the room types what is the stay period nurse id and the patient id so when i run all this queries and uh in python environment and when i run all these plots i get this type of graph so this is the stay period this is the patient id and these are the colors uh this so this tells us about the various things and we can analyze this data and this can help in administration process also and this can also help that what are the patients coming and what are the rooms that they prefer so these are the different things that we've done so there are many visualizations that we have done in uh, python by running similar codes so this uh, these are the various graphs that i'm just showing it and so uh, this is basically of our end of the project so basically we first learn how to make a uml model er model and then we made a relational model and then we uh, created a data in sql environment and then we also created a data in NoSQL environment. We run few queries to check our desired output. We are getting desired output or not. And then we finally exported all the data from MySQL environment to Python. And these are all the plots, visualization plots after coding we have got in Python environment. So this is all from the so this is how we will code in python and this is how all about our project i will thank you professor for guiding and helping us throughout the semester thank you